So for the past couple of months, there's been this crazy kind of back and forth over this anime called Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out. Now, I've done a few videos on this, and I know <laughs> I know my buddy Hero has done quite a few videos on this as well because it's it's really strange how upset people are over this anime. It's It's almost just kind of to the point where it's really weird. I don't understand why an anime character has people so upset, but they really are upset over this character. It might have something to do with the size of her chest, maybe? I don't know. That's probably what it is. But people are crazy about this anime. And it's kind of pushed it up to, I think, almost a higher level than what it would have been if a bunch of crazy weirdos on Twitter weren't obsessed with it. They have no problem with that Cuties movie, by the way. They are A-okay with Cuties. But this anime character, they're upset about. It's been really funny to watch it. Well, Funimation has decided to step in and dub the anime. They're putting a cast together. And they want you to watch the dub version. For me, it seems like this is more of a reason for you to watch it subtitled. But, well, anyway, let's get to the cast. So this is a piping hot announcement. This was just put out a couple of hours ago, actually. And Funimation wants you to say hello to the English dub cast of Uzaki-chan. Wants to hang out. She's bold, she's hilarious, she gets into all the antics, and now she's getting an English dub. We're excited to reveal the English dub lead cast for Zaki Chan Wants to Hang Out, the comedy breakout hit of the summer. And here you go. Who is playing Uzaki? Monica Rial. No, God, please, no, 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 no! And then right under, they ask, are you excited to experience the hilarity of Uzaki-chan wants to hang out in English dub? <laughs> what a story, Mark. No, no, sir, I am not excited. And it seems like quite a few other people aren't very excited about it either, as the backlash is coming in pretty quickly for this announcement. A lot of people upset. And there's a reason for that. If you don't know, I haven't talked about it on the channel in a while, but... Uh, Monica is responsible for getting Vic Mignogna fired from Funimation, Rooster Teeth, and a few other places. Uh, she's made the man's life a living hell for about two years now. Two years. Her and a few other people have just worked can, like tirelessly to cancel him from anything that he gets going on. If he goes to a convention and tries to go that route for some money, uh, they work tirelessly to make sure that he's not allowed to work there. It's it's pretty disgusting. Uh, that was a whole thing. We're waiting on the appeal for that lawsuit that he has against them. I think that's the 22nd of this month. We might get some information on that. I'm waiting for that to come in, and then I'll you know give an update on that. Of course, uh, Ricada Law covers the case still. Uh, anytime something comes out, uh, he's always a good resource when you're looking for up-to-date information on that case. But you would understand that there, there's a very large movement of people that that back the man, and rightfully so, because I think that he was wronged on many levels from a lot of these people. And, uh, you know, they get to keep going on playing current event characters. Uzaki-chan, kind of tainted by this, in my opinion. And it oddly... Uh, someone pointed out to me that she now plays three meme girls. Tanya the Evil, Uzaki-chan, and another character that I'm actually not familiar with, uh, Tomoko. So three big popular and culture characters, like outside of anime almost even. Uh, Uzaki-chan, I think, has kind of transcended a little bit because a lot of people have been chiming in on it because the drama behind it has been kind of hilarious. But a lot of people chiming in here. Ew, an even bigger reason to not like Uzaki. Some people pointing out that they've been blocked. Other people also pointing out some truth that Funimation changes dialogue quite a bit. Uh, you guys better not shoehorn in some of your BS politics into this. Uzaki-chan is a perfectly wholesome show about a girl trying to make her old high school friend more social. Stick to the script. And I could see that happening. They could definitely do that. But... 
anyway, it's been interesting to watch this. So I don't know. What are your guys' reactions to this? Do you think that this is fine? How do you feel about it? Are you going to stick to subs? Do you care who voices the character? Uh, Do you think that there'll be backlash from the crazy woke weirdos who hate this show? Uh, What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear from you guys. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me hear your thoughts. Like, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.